Hey guys! Welcome to the first video and board smashing of 2020! Today, we have three arcade cabinets. Why? Well, because the last time I smashed an oversized toy, I got 3 million views. So, it's worth another shot. I would have loved to do a real arcade cabinet that was used in a real arcade, but I think the only one that I found on Craigslist won't fit in a sedan. So, I had to settle for these mass-produced nostalgia bait toys! Starting with tiny and ending with so big, your parents will kick you out if you put this thing in their house. I will also be using the corresponding hammer size with each arcade. First up is this Stranger Things arcade game I got at Target for $15. Originally 30. Man, I can't believe they made the arcade games shown in Stranger Things Season 2 into something you could play in real life! Finally! Oh my god. You know how I feel about battery covers you need a screwdriver to open. Okay, I actually need a screwdriver. You win this one. What the hell? And we'll boot her on. Okay, I'm gonna cheat on the hammer size a bit. Oh, mom's gonna kill me. It's not working anymore. Moving on is this Pac-Man countertop arcade I also got a Target on sale for $150, originally $200. It's still kind of a ripoff, but I'll go into that later. How come there's no Stranger Things branding on this box? This company totally just stole the game from Stranger Things. Netflix should sue. Such easy screen protector removal. Power cable. Much better than batteries. Powering up. Has to load. Whoa! That surround sound.
Now before we tear into the final one, I found this very dirty Atari 2600 at my Goodwill for $20. This fits with the theme of the video because this was probably most kids first experience playing arcade games at home. What's that? I should restore it instead of smashing it because it's a part of history? Okay. So dirty. <laughs> Much better! Oh boy. <laughs> Welcome to day two, and we reached the final boss, the Galaga Arcade Cabinet. Man! The blatant stealing from Stranger Things continues! If you didn't watch my Black Friday 2019 vlog, I got this thing from Walmart on Black Friday, when there were many other game choices, because this one was the cheapest. Originally $300, but I got it for $150. The same price as that Pac-Man countertop arcade cabinet, which is why that one is a ripoff. I'm in no position to say what's a ripoff though, because I buy Dyson products. Ugh. Down you go! We <laughs> All right, let's unbox it. But there's one more step before I can destroy it. I have to build it. This is all very new to me, so time lapse. That was the worst hour of my life. This is board smashing, not board building. This better work. Powering up. Wow, since I actually took the time to build it, I've grown attached to it, and I no longer want to smash it. <laughs> Let's start with getting the thumbnail shot. Still fine. <laughs> Buttons still work. 
Okay, fire button no longer works. The joystick still works though. I'm gonna cheat with the hammer size again. Just what I expected. So... That was kinda anticlimactic. I'm just gonna say that's dead. Power cable's now stuck in there. And so with that, thank you guys for watching, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. I don't know about you, but I'm a spoiled Gen Zer, so I get bored within five minutes of playing any old school arcade game. I'll definitely have more fun with the destruction of them instead of playing them.